Hey kids, it's me, Tony Holmperm, the singing diva of Long Island, and I'm here today to tell you about a new palette that I tried out today. It's the Beauty Rituals palette from the Makeup Pharmacy. Let me open it up for you. I love the fact that you can bend it all the way back so I don't blind you with the mirror. Uh, here it is. It is a Halloween theme, dark, sort of grungy, purple, burgundy palette. Um, it has these sort of gray lavender tones and a little bit of a gold and a silver, a beautiful dark black. When I saw this on Instagram, I immediately fell in love with the color story and I said it's an indie brand that I have yet to try out. So I'm gonna order it and uh, see what happens. So first things first, I did swatch the palette and we're gonna throw the swatches up on screen for you now. And I have to say, this swatched beautifully, beautifully. So, going across the top and then down row by row, the first color is Dark Magic. Then we have Sacrifice, Spirit, Ceremony, Tarot, Candlestick, Crystal, Fortune, Sacred, Witch, Devotion, and Priestess. Now I have to tell you, it swatched beautifully. And when I tried to remove the eyeshadow from my arm, my regular makeup wipe, I had to actually add a little bit of eye makeup remover to the wipe to get the eyeshadow off my arm. That's how incredibly pigmented it is. I'm not going to hold you in suspense any longer. We're gonna rewind the camera. I'm gonna take you back in time and show you how I created this fabulous look with the Makeup Pharmacy's Beauty Rituals palette. Stay tuned. Okay, and I'm back. I, of course, glued my eyebrows down, set my base foundation down, created new eyebrows, and uh, just a fun fact from my foundation today, because <laughs> I'm trying to use up stuff that I have from so long ago. Uh, I actually used my Dermablend cover cream. This is in the color Warm Beige. This was the very first drag foundation I, I ever used. And uh, it's, a, it's actually a great foundation. I mean, you don't even have to do color correcting with this because it's, it's so full coverage. It's really a great foundation. And I just uh, put some on the back of my hand, warm it up, and then just I just use my fingers to apply it all over the face and, you know, then set with powder. It's really nice. By the way, I just want to let everyone know, yes, this disgusting black T-shirt, one of many that I, I use for these, this is, this is all I use it for. I don't wear this around the house, outside, anything. It's like when I'm ready to film my speaking parts, I throw it on, and uh, that's what I that's what I do. That's that's how I use it. So and yes it does need to go in the wash. I am aware of that. I readjusted the camera a little. I felt like I was I was tilting. I don't know. I don't know. I, I hope I'm I hope that I'm uh, visually straight. That's about the only straight I will ever be. Okay, so now the eye look I did put down a lot of powder. I was just worried a little bit about fallout because these are, these seem to be so intensely, richly pigmented, which is great. But of course you don't want that to fall down onto the face. You may prefer to do your eye makeup first and then do the bottom of the face if you're using this palette, um, which I could have done or alternatively, like I have done, just set a lot of powder down and if there is any fallout it should just all brush away if not you touch up with concealer foundation it's all it's all good it's all good um okay so we are gonna start doing a look it's gonna be very smoky purpley um that's what i'm feeling and oh by the way the eyebrows were done with um this color priestess and this black, which I believe that's 
which which I didn't realize the black actually is a, has a little bit of shimmer in it, which doesn't bother me. Some people don't like those little shimmery particles in a mat, but it it went on like a, like a mat, so I have no complaints. Now Saturday when I was getting ready for my show, this eye was tearing a little. Today it's this eye that's that's tearing a little. Why I don't know, but it is so. Sometimes when it happens, I just take a, uh, a clean Q-tip, and I just go like this, just to sort of dry it out a little bit. Okay, there we go. Allergies are horrible this time of year. Just so horrible. So I think we're going to start with this color, Sacred, right here. And the outer corner and I did set my tape down a little hand mirror down here I'm gonna try not to block anybody oh we primed with our Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and just gotta blend all those creases out oh the horrible horrible creases what can you do all right so we're going in with sacred I have a feeling It's going to be very pigmented. Yeah. See, I don't even think I'll need to use the black to deepen the eye look because it is so deep. But we may. We'll see. But look at look at that. Look how pigmented. And we just want that in the outer corner. Really nice. Let's do the same on the other side. The eye that is going to give us all the trouble today because it's going to be watering. But that's okay. When you're doing drag, you have to make everything work. Okay, that looks terrific. Now we're going to go in with... I think we're going to go in with... this color sacrifice Let's see what happens very nice now I'm going to go in with the color Taro, this lighter burgundy purple. The pigmentation is really great. That is that is stunning. Come in a little bit further with Taro. And now I think I'm going to go in with this color ceremony right there. That's sort of lavender. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, of course, I'm just sort of putting the colors in place, and then I always go back and do a better blend and re-intensify, but 
you know, I'm doing drag makeup. So I need things to be very dark, pigmented, bright. But I'm having absolutely no problems whatsoever getting the payoff that I, I want with these shadows. This is such a beautiful color, like a grungy lavender. I love it. I just love it. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more blending, reintensifying, and I will cut the crease and we will be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, I think my lawn guy stopped using the leaf blower. I was all ready to proceed and he started up with that and it's like, okay, not a good time to try to film anything with audio with the leaf blower going. You know, I don't have a soundproof studio. This is my bedroom that I have set up because all my makeup's here. So it's too difficult for me to use the downstairs studio where I do my Naughty or Nice show and my God, I'll get you for that Walter podcast. All those things are, are done down there. Sometimes I do some review videos down there, but if I'm putting makeup on, it needs to be up here because that's where everything is. Okay, enough of that. We need to complete this eye look. So I cut the crease, did a little blending. And we're going to try going in with, let's see. Let's first put on a little of this dark magic right at the very edge of the cut crease using my Kaleidos packing brush. Of course, you know, my crease has to be tapped out again, again. It's the other side. Oh, I used my Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas to cut the crease. Sometimes I prefer more white concealer, but I think we're okay with that one for this look. And now, now I can feel this eye is watery. So, yeah, just... Just terrific. Just terrific. But it'll be all right. It'll all be fine. I just wanted that there sort of tra to transition from the darker colors as we're getting lighter. So I'm using the same Kaleidos packing brush. And right now I'm just laying the colors down. I can always tweak later. And now I want to try this color what is that? Crystal. This really beautiful purple shimmer. Let's see what happens. Actually, hold on. Bear with me. Sorry about that. I realized I wanted to put down some of my uh, NYX glitter primer before I started doing the shimmers. So um, that's what I did. Okay, so now we're going to go in with that beautiful purple crystal. And I'm just sort of tapping it on the NYX Glitter Primer. Looks beautiful to me. And I'm, I'm going sort of like at a diagonal with the shape of the shimmers here on the lid. Okay, I like how that looks. Let's do the same on the other side. I 
Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we are going to go in with this silvery color fortune on the very inside of the eye. I switched off that Kaleidos packing brush. Now let's see what happens. Oh, I'm, lo I'm loving it. I'm just loving it. And I'm just sort of dancing, tapping on where the silver and the purple shimmer are meeting just to get a, a little bit of a blend. I'm very happy with it, very. Just gonna go back in with a little more of the purple. Sort of tippy tapping, just to get a little blend a transition here from the silver into that purple shimmer. And I think we'll go in with a little bit more of dark magic, the darker shimmer just on the edge. Very, very nice. I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, let me do the same on the other eye and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay. I think the mowing has stopped. So now we're gonna uh, smoke out the bottom of the eye. Uh, I just touched up a little bit of the top, um, just along the very edge of the crease where the uh, silver color fortune is. I went in with a little bit of sacred, just just to give a little bit of, a little bit more definition. I just like a very defined hard crease line. That's just me, you don't have to do that. Okay, so we're going to go in with a very small brush, I think. Um, oh, let me get rid of this tape and touch that up. Hold on. Okay, got rid of the tape, and whenever I do that, sometimes I have to just touch up the foundation that's underneath. Sometimes it lifts up. Easy enough fix. Okay, so a little brush, and we're going to go in with a little bit of Sacred. Um, just so you know because these um, shadows are so pigmented. There is kickback in the pan, so I don't know if that bothers anyone. It doesn't bother me. I just pick the kickback back up and reapply. Because when you do drag, um, you don't waste anything. Nothing gets wasted pantyhose that has runs in it you use those under like good pairs of pantyhose for like extra smoothing and, and things like that so we don't waste a thing okay and now we'll go in with a little bit of taro this color And a little bit of Ceremony, that grungy lavender color, which is just so beautiful. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with the eye look. I'm going to just finish everything up and I will return with the finished look. Stay tuned. And we're back. And here it is, the finished look. What do you think? I'm feeling almost a little bit like Agnes Moorhead and Dora 
from Bewitched a little bit with the the red hair. I don't know what could be more perfect for Halloween, really. What do all of you think about this look? Hmm? I love it. I love it. So, what did we do to complete this look? Obviously, we contoured and highlighted. Now, you know how I, I love to use as much of a palette as possible. For my blush, I actually went in with the color Taro, just a little, little teensy bit because it's so pigmented, but I used that on the cheeks and blended it into the, the contouring. I think it worked beautifully. For my highlight, I used my Kaleidos Comet Catcher, which is a, a soft pink. It's not one of the most blinding highlights. But then what I did was I took a little bit of Fortune, the silver color, and I just just went like dee, 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 right on the very like tippy tippy top of the cheekbone just to give like, you know, a little pop there. And on the lips, I used my Violet Voss Liquid Lip in Charming. I decided to... Uh, Keep the lip a little bit more muted. This is sort of a dusty rose nude and a little bit of uh, white liquid lip on the inside just for that ombre effect. And that's what we did to complete this look. And of course, then the, the, the hair, jewelry, dress. And I have to say, I, I absolutely love this look. I, I feel like I look fabulous. So now the Beauty Rituals palette by the Makeup Pharmacy. What can I tell you? Hmm. I love this palette so much. I, I words cannot describe. I had such a fabulous time creating this look. Ah, the, the pigmentation on this palette, the blendability, um, the shimmeriness on the eyelids with the shimmer colors. Oh, I, I, I'm just loving this. This, this palette is amazing. It really is A plus plus. I'm, I'm a little stunned. When I saw it advertised on Instagram, I was like, mm, that looks like a really pretty color story. So great for Halloween. But then when I actually got it in my hands and I was swatching it and then putting it on the eyes, I was like, wow, this is, this is great makeup. This is fabulous eyeshadow. It really is. Um, the makeup pharmacy, I got to tell you, fabulous, fabulous job. Is this drag worthy? Hell yes! Hell yes! It's drag worthy. Is it Tony Home Perm approved? Oh my god, of course. I love it. I love it. Um, makeup Pharmacy. Uh, I, I love your product so much. Please reach out to me. Let me, you know, let me do more videos for you. Please, please, please. Uh, I, I was just so inspired and had so much fun creating this look with this palette. I can't, I can't rave about it enough. I really can't. So I will make sure to put uh, the link for Makeup Pharmacy down in the comments below. I don't know if the palette's still available. If it is, I say order it now. Get it. It's such an, a, an amazing, great palette. It really is. And of course, I went all out with a drag look. But there's no reason why you can't do a more wearable look. Wearable. Does anybody really want to do a wearable look? Oh, okay, I know some of you do, some of you do, but whatever. But you could definitely do a wearable look with this. You know, if you wanted to just do a little bit of this color, priest, Priestess, which is, you know, sort of a, a rusty brown, and just smoke it out with a little bit of witch. And really, the, the colors are so intense and pigmented. Um, you'd only need a little, little bit. And, you know, you could throw uh, the soft shimmer of candlestick on the eyelid, something like that. If, if you want to do like a, a wearable look, you certainly could. And of course, you can go full out dramatic like I did today, which uh, I'm loving this look. I really, I really am. I mean, I would have no problems 
getting on the stage of somewhere like Stonewall or an industry in the city or, or anywhere and performing with this makeup on. Uh, I, would, I would wow people, I really would. So terrific job, Makeup Pharmacy. Well, if you like this video, then please, please, please hit the like button down below. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this from me, you got to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And as always, thank you to all my new subscribers. I see people subscribing on a daily basis, and uh, I'm so grateful to everyone who subscribed. Thank you again so much. Now remember, you can see me twice a month on my internet variety show, Naughty or Nice, and that's nice with six eyes. And I do that with the horror diva, legendary New York City drag queen, Alexis Flame. And don't forget my weekly podcast, God'll Get You for That, Walter, the review show that I do with Tom Cat. We watch episodes of the 1970 sitcom Maud, which starred B. Arthur, and tell you how some of the issues that they had back then are still very relevant today. Well, that's all I have for you today, kids. This was the look that we created with the Beauty Rituals palette from the Makeup Pharmacy. Fabulous, fabulous. I love it. I love it. Can't rave enough. Okay, I will see you all again in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.